Well, welcome back everyone. Most of the rain is just to our south right now, but I'm expecting the activity to pick up, especially near the dawn hour showers and a few thunderstorms, and it could be heavy at times. Mostly sunny though, as we head into early next week and temperatures will be a tad cooler, and then we're gonna have a warming trend toward the end, but we are gonna see more rain chances by late week. Here's a look at your radar right now. It looks like here's Meridian, and most of the rain is down to our south, just south of Butler, but all all this activity will start to lift to the north. We're going to have another wave come through. There could be a few showers and thunderstorms that pop up during the day on Saturday. So our future radar is showing for tonight. We're just going to see some light activity, but then during the day, or I should say in the early morning hours, the rain will be moving in. And so by the afternoon, a few thunderstorms will be popping up as well. And then in the evening, more thunderstorms, the yellow and the orange showing up. That's the heavier rain that will be moving into our region. So as far as rainfall amount, anywhere between three quarters of an inch down to an inch and a quarter across the twin states. So we are expecting some rain. There will be pockets of heavier rain, especially if you have thunderstorms right over your house. So we are expecting a lot of rain activity for tomorrow, but most of that that will be tapering off as we move into your Sunday. High temperatures today it was warmer than yesterday. In fact, temperatures were in the low 60s across the region. 62 in Philadelphia, in Macon, 60, 61 in Meridian, 62 degrees in Laurel. Tonight it is going to be very mild out there, dropping down only into the 50s because of the clouds. And we're going to see some rain moving into our region after the midnight hour. Tomorrow, periods of rain, temperatures around 62 degrees in the afternoon. In Collinsville 62 as well and then by the end of the weekend I think all that will be starting to taper off temperatures will remain mild with highs around 63 degrees plenty of sunshine as we start off next week but it's going to be chilly Monday morning with a high or I should say a low of around 38 degrees 61 for the afternoon high dry weather sunshine for your Tuesday but it's going to be pretty cold out there 28 degrees when you send off your kids you definitely want to bundle them up 52 degrees in the afternoon plenty of sunshine during the day and then we're going to start to warm up even though it's going to be cold on Wednesday morning it is going to be a little bit warmer in the afternoon but increasing clouds during the day as another system comes through and so we do have the possibility of heavy rain with a few thunderstorms on Thursday and then a little bit more rain in the morning on a Friday. Staying pretty cloudy though as we end the week and temperatures will start to cool back down again. So we're looking at a high of around 55 degrees on Friday. So if you have put away the umbrella, you want to take it out again because we are expecting several <laughs> days of what? rain from rain. tomorrow into next week. Okay. Let's go back to the insect conversation for a second. Whoa. <laughs> well, I was looking it up. It seems like there's some conflicting news out there about if you really do eat them in your sleep. Some people say it's urban legend, some of the news sources I'm seeing. But according to the Huffington Post, we do have thousands of insects and insects fragments in our food. And this is allowable by food standards. And I just want to list the, the highest one in this article. In a year's worth of drinking coffee, it says you'll you'll eat 136,000 insect fragments huh. in your coffee. That's it why also I don't lists drink other. Coffee. It also <laughs> lists a whole lot of other foods, including chocolate, noodles, mushrooms, peanut butter, and frozen fruits and vegetables. Well, you know, because they live everywhere, and there's right. so many of them. There's like billions of them, and you know, apparently I have a not a concern. And, yeah, every time I go out there, there's they're all over. Yes. Okay, we'll leave you with that.